this year we'll actually see some units coming out of the ground and won't be ready for occupancy, but at least under construction. Construction families who struggle to put food on the table wish could be completed faster. If you spend 30% of your income on housing, you qualify for affordable housing. In Winston-Salem, that includes 70% of teachers, 64% of police officers, 43% of health care workers, all who make below the area medium income of $69,000 a year. We are making you know, decent wages, but still yet because of the cost of the housing, the new construction, so on, it uh, puts them into a, an affordable need category. It's the same in Greensboro. The tremendous amount of the service sector and the care sector, um, the wages of those kind of career paths really need affordable housing. And these are folks that we desperately need to make our communities run and operate and are essential to us. The city of Greensboro has created 1,000 units over the past two years. Winston-Salem Mayor Allen Joins says the idea in his city is to build roughly 15,000 affordable housing units. These might be high rises instead of traditional apartments or duplexes. Some will be on parts of the 36 plots of land the city owns, like these few acres on Scenic Drive. Certainly don't want to just cluster um, you know, low-income housing or, or affordable housing in one particular area. We want to just integrate it into the whole city. Work that takes partnership between city leaders, developers, and the community. You know, when you look at development for for for-profit developers, there has to be a return on the investment that they make when they build. Um, housing, right? And when we look at affordable housing developers, those situations often require some type of subsidy or support to maintain affordability.